the lesson that I see is the lesson of Jose Melendez. If I were to sum up for you the argument that I make in the book, it would be to turn your attention to that which happened on August 4 of 01. He was an INS agent working in the Orlando airport just going about his job. And on that particular day, a flight has arrived from the UK. It began in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. And on board that flight is a Saudi national who has said en route, and you know if you've flown internationally when you're landing, they hand out the landing cards and you've got to fill out the information. He said he couldn't fill out the paperwork because he didn't speak English. There was nothing else that was recognized as threatening about him, but because he said he couldn't speak the language, couldn't fill out the paperwork, he was assigned to secondary or random screening, and he comes in front of Jose Melendez. And Jose Melendez put his name into a computer, it yielded no hits, had his personal effects searched, there was nothing suspicious in them. But as he would later tell the 9-11 Commission, I looked in his eyes and, quote, he just gave me the creeps. So based on that instinct, based on that human intuition, he began to question this individual through an interpreter. And the more that he questioned him, the more suspicious that he became, again, not knowing of al-Qaeda or bin Laden, but he had a bad seed on his hands. Someone perhaps who was an executioner, a murderer in this country, physically fit to do bad things. And against the advice of his colleagues who said, the guy's a Saudi national, the Saudis have a lot of political clout, you could get yourself in trouble, against their advice he turned him around and put him on a plane back to the UK and then on to Dubai. Interestingly, the man that he was questioning, Mohammed al Qatani looked at him in a Schwarzenegger-like manner before he gets turned around and says, I'll be back. Well, he is back because he was apprehended on a battlefield at Tora Bora fighting for al-Qaeda. He is at Guantanamo Bay, where he's now known as Detainee 069. And what the 9-11 Commission was able to determine is that at the moment he was being turned around at the Orlando International Airport downstairs by Jose Melendez, upstairs there to pick him up, was Mohammed Atta. Hence the presumption that this, not Zacharias Musawi, this guy was to have been the 20th hijacker. And but for the street smarts being utilized by Jose Melendez, this is not me now speaking, this is Richard Benveniste and others on the 9-11 Commission, but for the street smarts of Jose Melendez, the guy would have made it into the country and would have been the fifth hijacker on Flight 93 and perhaps armed with one more muscle on Flight 93, they could have kept that plane in the, in the air for the 15 more minutes that they needed to reach the White House or the Capitol.